Hello friends, today we are going to calculate maximum instantaneous trace extension of given bar as well as energy stored in the bar. So according to the given data, we have given 1.8 meter and 6 mm diameter wire. It means the total height is given as 1.8 meter or we can say that it is 1800 mm. So, length of the wire is given as 1800 in terms of mm and diameter is given as 6 mm and area can be calculated by pi by 4 d square which is equal to pi by 4 into 6 square and our area value is 28.26 mm square. Now, next data is given as a vertical with sliding collar of 0 0.120 kilo newton or 120 newton. So, we have given the collar weight as a 0 0.12 kilo newton as a 120 newton and this collar is allowed to fall from the 250 mm height. So, we have given a H value as a 250 mm and the falling height which is equal to 250 mm and we have to calculate instantaneous maximum stress corresponding extension and energy stored in the material as a strain energy. So, let us calculate all the required value. First of all, maximum instantaneous stress can be calculated by the equation sigma as a p by a plus square root of p by a whole square or we can say that p square by a square plus twice the epsilon load value falling height divided by its volume as a a into l. Now let us put all the values. Load is given as 120 Newton, area is a 28.26 plus square root of 120 by 28.26 square plus 2. Modulus of elasticity is taken as 2 into 10 raised to 5. Load is given as 120 Newton, height of fall is given as 250 mm divided by area is 28.26 and the length of the wire is 1800 mm. Now, if we solve this term, we will have maximum instantaneous stress sigma as a 489.97 in terms of Newton per mm square. So, for falling height stress can be calculated by this equation which we have to remember I'm going ahead for the maximum extension so extension can be calculated by equation stress is directly proportional to strain and if we remove the proportionality then it modulus of elasticity and epsilon can be written as del L by and we have to calculate extension hence del L value can be written as sigma into L by capital E. Now putting all the values sigma is a 489.97 L is given as 1800 mm and epsilon as a 2 into 10 raise to 5 Newton per mm square hence our maximum extension which is equal to 4.41 in terms of mm. Now going ahead for the stored energy or strain energy. And it is written as u which is equal to sigma square by 2e into volume and volume is equal to area into length. Now sigma square value is 489.97 all square divided by 2 into 2 into 10 to 5 as a 
modulus of elasticity into area value is 28.26 and length as a 1800 mm and if we solve this value then the energy stored is 30.529 into 10 raised to 3 newton into mm hence our value is 30.529 turn into meter or we can say that the value is in joule so thus we can calculate maximum stress extension and strain energy for given collar having the falling height as a 250 mm and collar weight as a 0.12 kilonewton thank you